B. Ah, wrong answer. But remember, if we get dis distracted, and we will get distracted by doing cardiac chest compressions, as good a job as we can do on cardiac chest compressions, it's just buying a little bit of time. If we don't activate EMS, we're going to be in a big trouble, and so is the patient, because the CPR is not going to sustain them forever. So remember to call 911 first, and then get started on your deep, fast compressions. All right, so now we're on the right track. So we've got to call 911, get EMS on the way right away so we can get advanced life support and hopefully save this person's life and especially get an automated external defibrillator on scene as fast as possible because that's what turns around a cardiac arrest in most cases. After this person's done activating emergency medical services, they're gonna start cardiac compressions fast and deep continuously until help arrives. Compression only CPR is one of the best things for lay people who are afraid that they cannot do full CPR by the book. For many, many years, people were so afraid they might do something wrong, get sick, injure the person, or get sued, that they basically didn't help at all. Now you're empowered to be able to do CPR, whether you have personal protective equipment or not, whether you have proper training or not. Compression-only CPR does circulate oxygenated blood to the brain and to the heart and buys time for cardiac arrest victims. Now is your job. Spread the word. Tell as many people as you can about hands-only CPR with ProCPR.org. This is going to be a life-saving skill that you can tell anybody about. Spread the word. Be a rescuer.